Welcome to BARD's Breathe Easy Service Training. My name is Rick Downey and in this video we're going to take a closer look at the compressor control module. On the left there's a picture of a legacy unit and these compressor control modules have been around since about 1998. On the right we have the latest model that was just released, the compressor control module also known as the CCM provides delay on make, delay on break, high pressure switch monitor, low pressure switch monitor, an alarm signal output, and now brownout protection that's adjustable. Delay on make is for power interruption on a restart. Delay on make is utilized when more than one unit is on a structure and a power loss occurs. The red dial setting should always have a 20 to 30 second difference between units. Since the delay on make is 2 minutes plus 10 percent of the red dial setting, units set 30 seconds apart will have a 3 second separation on power up. Delay on break is end of cycle protection. It occurs at the Y terminal. It's adjustable from 30 seconds to 5 minutes. It's factory set at 3.5 minutes to allow the unit pressures to equalize before another cycle can be started. Once you break the 24 volts to Y, the countdown timer starts and it has to run through the amount of time set where the dial is in the lower right corner. This could be a red dial or a dark blue dial. This illustration shows no cooling call present. Let's review the delays. Delay on make is for power up and it's 2 minutes plus 10 percent of the red dial setting. Whenever you have more than one unit on a building, we need to make sure we set those 20 to 30 seconds apart so that if the building is powered off and powered back on after the temperatures rise where it's calling for two units, both compressors won't start simultaneously and flood the power panel with too much current. The delay on break is for end of cycle protection and that is the red dial setting. So if we were to turn the thermostat up and back down before the pressure is equalized, we could damage the compressor. This way, once we break that Y call, it won't restart until after the time expires that's set on the red dial. Here's a normal operation with the call for cooling. And you can see we have the 24 volts coming into the Y terminal. It goes through the high pressure switch and back into the uh, CCM. We leave the CCM, go through the low pressure switch and come back in. So we're monitoring both pressure switches and we let the signal out through the CC signal in the upper right corner to the compressor contactor. That's a normal operation with a call for cooling. The high pressure monitoring, if the high pressure switch opens, the compressor operation stops immediately and it enters a soft lockout. The compressor will restart automatically in the red dial setting. If high pressure switch stays open or reopens during the same cycle, the CCM will enter a hard lockout. And once in a hard lockout, cycling the thermostat or main power will relieve that lockout condition and reset it so the unit's able to start again and you can complete your diagnostics. The alarm terminal. If a hard lockout is entered, the terminal marked with the ALR will become active with 24 volts. This could activate a relay if you choose. Here we have a high pressure event. The high pressure switch is open. We're in a soft lockout. It's running through the red dial. Once it reaches the end of time as indicated by the red dial, it will restart as long as the high pressure switch is closed. If the high pressure switch opens again during that call for cooling, we're going to go into a hard lockout. Now it's going to require breaking the 24 volts to the R terminal or 24 volts to the Y terminal. So you have to recycle power or turn the thermostat off and back on. While it's in a hard lockout, it's going to send 24 volts to the ALR terminal and it could power a relay. So when a hard lockout occurs, 24 volts is present at the ALR terminal. 
low pressure if the low pressure switch opens the compressor will continue to run for two minutes if after two minutes the low pressure switch remains open the compressor will stop and the CCM will enter a soft lockout the compressor will restart automatically in the time on the red dial setting if the low pressure switch stays open or opens again for longer than two minutes the compressor control module will enter a hard lockout cycling the thermostat or main power will reset it and relieve the lockout condition while it's in a hard lockout the ALR terminal will become active with 24 volts here in the lower left corner you can see the low pressure switch is open it's open for more than two minutes so we enter into a soft lockout what that means is that the timer is going to run through the amount of time on the red dial in this picture and at the end of that time it will try and restart as long as the low pressure switch is closed it will restart if it opens again and stays open for more than two minutes during that call for cooling it will enter a hard lockout once we go into a hard lockout 24 volts is present at the alarm terminal when that 24 volts is present at an alarm terminal it could be used to run a relay turn a light on whatever you're using for the signal but to reset it from a hard lockout we have to break 24 volts to the R by recycling the power or we can recycle the thermostat turn it off and back to cooling here we're taking a look at the new compressor control module this has some additional features like a red high pressure fault light a blue light for low pressure and blue flashing for low voltage and there's a little clear view window on there where you're going to see these signals this is going to give you a starting point for your diagnostics and make it easier to troubleshoot this the low voltage monitor the new CCM is also equipped with adjustable brownout protection. The compressor control module monitors voltage at the CC terminal, and if the voltage drops below 18, it will interrupt the signal going to the compressor. The CCM will allow a restart after the red dial setting expires once the voltage is back to normal. Here at the compressor contactor terminal, we're going to monitor that voltage and if it drops below 18 we're going to terminate that output brownout protection adjustment the brownout ignore adjustment on the bottom of the control may be required if the utility power or generator power has inadequate output to keep the voltage from dropping when the compressor starts in the rare case that ignoring the momentary brownout is required please read the complete instructions to help you select the correct ignore time or call the tech service department for assistance our tech services is open from 8 to 5 Monday through Friday and the number is 1-419-636-0439 for training questions or information please contact rick.downey at bardhvac.com I want to thank you for joining me on this video and thank you for choosing BARD.